Okay, so I thought I'd do more bees. What about this thing? The magic, the magic um, apiary. Let's have a look at the magic apiary and see how we could actually get that. It's obviously magic bees at this point. So an apiary is fair enough. Unusual pollen, so we're going to need supernatural bees for that. And what about this one? Enchanting drops, so we're going to need arcane uh, queen. So we're going to need supernatural and we're going to need arcane. So let's, um, all right, so we'll start at this point then. So we won't, won't go back straight to the beginning. So we've got our common bees, for instance. Um, and we need to, first of all, we're going to work on supernatural then. Um, I may do something with the actual changing this stuff, the samples. We'll see. So how do we get this stuff? We need a charmed and enchanted. Let's go for charmed first. So we're going to need cultivated. So we we'll do common and forest first. So let's just start off with a load of common bees because it makes more sense just to start there. All right. So we're starting with the supernatural, and we're going to want it charmed first. So we're going to need. Let's get a load of cultivated bees. So and that's basically just cultivated is always just common with any with any drone, isn't it? So if we say we have a common princess with forest drone, we'll always be able to get cultivated. All right. So I think yeah. So from now on, maybe I could just say we now have to get to cultivated because it's fairly obvious. So we can just we can just uh, at this point we can just say we've got as many cultivated and common as we want. All right. So yeah, so charm. We're gonna need cultivated. We're gonna need an eldritch. Uh, and what's the simplest way to get? Let's try. We'll try. We'll keep on trying different things. Um, so to get to an eldritch, we could try the sorceress princess. That does not have a recipe. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I mean, none of them do, do they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, if we look at the percentage chance, it's always the same, isn't it? I'm pretty sure these are all um, stock bees. So, yeah, so these are all just hive bees to get to the Eldritch. So, to get to Eldritch, we always just need to cultivate one of the. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. For instance, if we go, if we look at the hives from uh, Magic Bees here, and we just take a look at what we're actually going to get here, it should be fairly clear that we're going to uh, yeah, we've got mystical. Mystical and unusual. So we basically would just need a. Um, so to get to Eldritch, I think we just can do a, a cultivated and an, an, any hive be here. And that's going to take us directly to Eldritch. So Eldritch is pretty easy to get as well. Okay. So again, we are looking to get the supernatural bee. Okay, so to get the supernatural bee, we need the. Uh, um, yeah, so basically, hive bee. Yeah, hive bee will get us the eldritch, and then from here it's just cultivate and eldritch, uh, which already both have both of them. So we just do cultivate and an eldritch bee. Oh, that is an Eldritch Queen. Now, let's uh, kill the Eldritch Queen then. The lifespan upgrade is there. Uh, how many have I got with the lifespan? Is? Um. Hmm. 
Yeah, you can also do it this way with these with the uh, magic AP. That's what we're trying to build at the moment. So I guess it's probably not best to do that here. Make use it next time. Yeah, it's not that fast though. How do you make it faster? I wonder. Hmm. I don't think you can put more than that in there. Yeah, I don't think there's really any way to make it faster. Alright, so we we'll say we've got some Eldritch Beads at this point. Let's some of these. No, I can't because I've got enough room. Alright, so the Eldritch is going to give us some Eldritch bees, of course. Alright, so we've got Eldritch, we've got Cultivated. And that's going to give us, then that's going to get us to this stage, isn't it? The charmed. Yeah, if we do the eldritch, we can go from eldritch and cultivated. Interesting. Eldritch and cultivated will get us to charmed. Eldritch and charmed will get us to enchanted. And this is, of course, what we did last time. Oh, interesting, esoteric me. Oh, you haven't looked at the DNA stuff yet. Hmm. All right. So, like I said, the um, Eldritch B. Take an Eldritch Princess. Um. Eldritch Cultivated can get us to Charms or uh, Esoteric. So we want Charms this time. Okay. Alright, so we've got Charms. So we look at what we can do with Charms. We can see that that's going to get us to the Supernatural, which is what we're looking for. Uh, and enchanted, like we just said before, we need to go one step beyond, don't we, with that? So with the charmed, we can mix that together. Uh, yeah, to get the enchanted, rather, it's an eldritch with a charmed. And that's what we just got, isn't it? So yeah. So an eldritch with a charmed is going to get us the supernatural. All right, and that's fairly that's fairly straightforward. We didn't actually need to go to the enchanted bee, did we? Oh no, we did need to go to the enchanted bee. That was one more step. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we do. We would get the. Um, yeah, and in fact, we can get the otherworldly comb from the charmed bee. I think that's what we need, isn't it? Let me just check this. No, it's not. Hmm. No, we, do, we can't get it. But you see, yeah, I mean, it's eighteen percent from Charmed.
Yeah, the thing about the occult home is Yeah, you see that's probably the best B to go for in terms of that then, isn't it? Let me just do this then. Yeah. You see that is the, the advantage with that is we go for the ethereal B here. And the ethereal is actually a top tier B from the looks of it. Because we can mix the arcane and the arcane is going to get us the um, hmm. Let me get to the pupil and scholarly B in pupil in monastic. That must be a high B as well. Alright, so yeah. So there's different ways to go about that then. Uh, so what do we have in here? We've got some charmed bees. Let's just go back again. Cause we're just doing it a bit, but it's a bit messy at the moment, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so the charmed. And we're going to mix that with an eldritch bee. Get this enchanted bee. So it's charmed. We should have an eldritch bee here. Charmed and eldritch will get us the enchanted. Um, and so let's just look at the enchanted bee one more time. The usages maybe for it. So yeah. So we've got charmed, we've got enchanted, we can get the supernatural. But yeah, if we look at the supernatural bee now, oh wow, that's even higher. The Earthen Queen. I wonder what that one does. It looks like a beast. This bee. It's going to make earthy comb. So you can see we can get some magic wax from this otherworldly comb. Hmm. Yeah. You can't actually get anything from the otherworldly comb. That was my mistake. So that is actually not that useful. I mean, apart from making the frames for the magic bee stuff and the uh, empty magic capsule and the and the refractory, work. yeah. Let me just look at that. Yeah, it's not got a recipe. Interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to get the refractory wax. No, um, okay. But anyway, yeah. Uh, all right. So, what bees do we have at this point then? Um, so we're going to have some enchanted bees. I'm curious to see what the the thing is, right? My any as, as you might be able to tell by now, my any is not really working to some future stuff. Um, I want the earthy comb, don't I? I'm pretty sure that's what they reproduce, isn't it? Yeah, the earthy comb. Why is that not showing up here? We've got it. That's not that one, is it? Oh, wow, it's just not in. The, it's must. Maybe I've got an old version or something. This must be what they maybe they were working at the time or something. Hey, I wonder what the fuck is going on here. Hmm. Well, anyway, I guess I can't get the earthy bee. The earthy bee is obviously a very, a very good bee. So to get the supernatural, we would do that, and then uh, we'll 
Yeah. Either way, though, we're going to get, uh, if we've got production up we're on Supernatural uh, B here, what we should see is... Um, All right, so we've got, say so we got, so we can mix together, I think it was Enchanted, Enchanted and Charmed will get us the Supernatural, right, yeah. Um, and then we'll kill off this Supernatural. And from there, right, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. This will probably give me status effects, because it's such a powerful bee. But yeah, from there we've got a drop. It doesn't actually come from the otherworldly cone. From there we've got a chance of getting a drop of this from the supernatural bee. So we've got the chance of getting the unusual pollen. Okay. So yeah. Alright, so the next thing then is we want to look at the enchanting drop, which we're gonna get from the arcane bee. Uh, mysterious, we're gonna need so we're gonna need that uh, Again, so we need to go back to basically uh, sort of like about, this has been about six stages here, it's probably about stage three maybe. Uh, uh, so yeah, again, we're at that stage with the Eldritch Bees. So we'd need like a cultivated bee and then perhaps an, one of the Eldritch ones. Do we get an Eldritch one somewhere? I didn't actually get this B. I wonder, I actually wouldn't mind seeing what was going to happen if I put this B in here. Uh, let's put a planes upgrade in here. Or four. I don't know why that's much you're showing. Let's not speed up here. I keep forgetting over it. This one. So this reduces the life. So we do can get the earthy comb. So what's the earthy comb if you do? Well, it does work. Clay. Yes, yeah, so I can't actually get it from any high, but yeah, it's because I'm running a very it's, it's very customised and obviously I'm not done it properly. So there's some supernatural bees, and as you can see, we've got the unusual pollen. Um, so like I was mentioning, we need to mix a cultivate with an eldritch. And eldritch, of course, there's many ways to get eldritch. Like I'm, I'm now re reiterating the same stuff, but it's, it's almost in my head that I like to do this. So eldritch, we can get any hive, any uh, magic bees hive bee with a cultivated. So let's do that one first. So we'll just do the cultivated princess. Um, oh, I have actually got an eldritch there. I don't know if I am. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I spawned that in. I think I just spawned that in, didn't I, just now? Um, so yeah, any of these, uh, so it would be like an unusual should work with a cultivated uh, drone. Get us the Eldritch. Alright, so the Eldritch is pretty easy to get. Alright. So again, we're going to go look back on here again, just to look at the arcane. So Mysterious requires Eldritch. Yeah, you see, this this is like a every everything requires esoteric, right? So we need to make sure we've got the esoteric bees. So if we've got the uh, the Eldritch bees, we're going to need to mix that up with the esoteric now. So, yeah, so to get the esoteric then, we're going to need to do Eldritch with a Cultivated, I think. I think that's what I said, wasn't it? So we'll take any of our, uh, there's an Eldritch Joan. 
So we this time we're going to go the, the esoteric line. And if we look at the esoteric things, you see this is what we need to do. We need to go to the arcane. Uh, and from that we need to get Eldritch with an esoteric. So we would take that esoteric and then put in a second Eldritch, shouldn't we? Yeah. That one's not done yet. Amazing that this has got lifespan upgrades in it and it's still going this slowly. It must be very slow B. Um, yeah, and you see the thing is, right, if we look at the, uh, yeah, you can see it's got a long life. So what we'd actually need to do to this Earthen Queen is we'd actually need to um, shorten the life of it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that in the next video, I think. Um, Alright. So let's just keep on. I'm just going to keep on going. It's actually, I mean, it's, it's quite hard to follow anyway, so it's, it's not necessarily that bad. Uh, so yeah, we've got the esoteric. We need to get the mysterious, which is from the eldritch and the esoteric. So here's our esoteric. Uh, uh, yeah, this may take a bit longer than I was hoping for, because these bees are not really dying very fast. Let me just put some of these things away quickly. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of some of these basic bitch bees. Okay, so and there we go. We got some eldritch bees out of that, and now we can put in some more. Uh, which one do we want to go for? We'll go for that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, you can see basically anyway, the point is right, is that um, even with these production and lifespan upgrades, because of the uh, the stats on this esoteric bee, basically the stats are not going to look good. If we get the bee elizer out, it's not going to look good, is it? With an esoteric. Like, let's see if we can get just grab one. But I wonder what the stats are on, on the Eldritch actually. Hmm. These all look like primary traits. The red ones are primary traits. So the Eldritch actually did die quite fast because their lifespan is short. But if we look at the... Uh, uh, we haven't even got one yet. That's because the fertility is probably very low with the esoteric bees. Looks that way because it's not getting anything from it. Let me just look at the esoteric bee quickly. Pollination speed is slow. Interesting. Production speed is slowest. I think that's the one we're looking at. So the esoteric, right? Now we did get quite a lot from it, but it's going to get us because we put production upgrade. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, we can certainly make things look better, and it'll be interesting to see. I'm going to try. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go through all the different traits. I'm really trying to get a good grasp of what's going on with them. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, anyway, we needed to put the esoteric uh, princess with the cultivated um, with the uh, eldritch drone. Mm, I must have had some eldritch bees somewhere. These bees are there. And these Eldritch, there we go, Eldritch Princess. All right, so we'll put the uh, we've got a drone here, don't we? We'll put the uh, the Eldritch Princess with that one, and that's going to get us the Mysterious Queen. And then with the Mysterious Queen, um, we can mix that together with. Uh, there you go. Oh, did I just take it? Yeah, 
you know, we can mix that together with the esoteric to get an arcane queen. And if we wanted to, we could go for the ethereal as well. And ethereal actually gives us another option, the aware, the fiery. <clears throat> so here we can see that other, other stuff is coming into it. Loads of other stuff actually. The ethereal looks like quite a powerful bee then. We get the windy came from that. Mm. But yeah, like I said, so this so the focus really is just is just to get the actual magic apiary. I'm gonna do a little bit more in another episode, I think. So yeah, so like um so like I, I mentioned, we need to get the enchanted drop from the arcane queen. Um and that's just a simple drop when you breed uh, when the uh, the arcane queen queen dies. Let's just check how we're going on this then. So we've got the mysterious one dying. Okay, so yeah, so basically it really is just a case of um, uh, mixing that together with an esoteric to get the arcane and then the arcane mixed with the supernatural we made before. But actually, sorry, we could just, you know, we get the, uh, we can get the the item that we need from the arcane, can't we? Yeah. So in fact, we don't need to do that step. Yeah, we just needed, we just needed to basically separately get... Um, yeah, we separately got the unusual the unusual pollen from the supernatural, and then we got the enchanted drop from the arcane, and then from there we can make the uh, magic apiary. Um, so I think that's pretty much uh, I think I pretty much explained what's going on there. Uh, you can see we've got the mysterious here, and if we have uh, if we have the mysterious princess, we just mix that with an esoteric. Uh, well, we put the esoteric princess in, and then have the East Hope Princess with the Mysterious Drone. Yeah. We'll get us that arcane B. And then from there we're going to get the drop. But yeah, I was actually interested though in um, what was going on after that with the Ethereal Bees. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, um, this one's going to need a light upgrade. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I was interested in seeing what we could uh, do beyond that then. So I'm going to do that in a separate episode. So until then, um, well, I suppose I could wait a little bit. I mean, I think this is taking quite, I mean, it's taking a reasonably long time, but honestly, with these upgrades, even if their stats are a bit crap, which probably, let me just see what the uh, Arcane Bee is saying in the Bealizer. You see, pollination, right? I believe that the pollination speed is actually to do with the trees. It would that make sense? The bees are buzzing around, and they're going to uh, pollinate. Is that really? One second. Uh, right. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's actually to do with the trees. So that's perhaps not relevant. That's more of a tree Eliza thing, but yeah, like I like I said, I do want to. Um, so yeah, so we can see we've got the unusual pollen. The apiary is a is a recipe in a carpenter. Uh, it's a forestry thing. That's interesting. That we've got clay out of that. Uh, yeah. So what do we get out of the occult chrome? It's not actually that bad that some of the recipes are missing. I'm not too worried about that. Hmm. Well, that could it could it could have been more. But there you can see the enchanting drop. That was what I was looking for. And then it would just be a case of mixing these two here um, to get the magical apiary, which I may look may, I may look into. Um, but honestly, I kind of prefer doing everything in Gendistry at the moment. It's pretty cool, and it, it helps me to understand all this stuff quite well. Um, and we've got some nice bees there. Okay, thanks for watching.